Hello girls and squirrels, happy Wednesday and welcome back to my channel. So before we get this video started, I just wanna give you a quick little update. As you can see, I am in a different area. We're gonna work this area out. I don't know how the background in my videos is gonna be from now on, but we'll figure it out along the way. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know that I moved back to Georgia this weekend. Um, it was a huge step, huge change for me. Um, I've been you know, struggling with the situation for a couple weeks. Um, Joe and I did decide to split up um, there's no animosity though. There's no drama. Um, we just decided that we are better off as friends. Um, so we are still friends. And for those of you concerned about Scooby, he is with Joe. He does a lot better with Joe. Um, and I just didn't want to uproot him, you know, from his home and make it any more uncomfortable than it needed to be. So he is with Joe and he is happy and healthy. And uh, maybe I'll include some pictures or, you know, little videos of him on uh, Instagram still so you guys can keep up with him. Uh, but anyways, that's not what this video is about, but I did want to let you guys know. Um, I didn't want to just like change my entire location and not, you know, tell you guys what was going on. So that's it. That's the scoop, the 411, the tea. So I went out exploring yesterday. I am in a tiny little town right outside of Augusta, Georgia. So I went into Augusta yesterday, did a lot of shopping. I went to two regular Goodwills and then the Goodwill Outlets, which is a brand new Goodwill bins in Augusta. Up to that point, there had only been one in Savannah. So I was really excited to find out that they opened one in Augusta. Um, so I've got a lot of good to show you but first I'm going to show you the shopping portion and then I will see you at the end. Look at this beauty. Oh my goodness. It's 80s. Chic. So pretty. Look at the back. This little like added detail that is so gorgeous. I'm tempted to get this. I'm not sure how well it would do. Don't tease me like that, Georgia. <laughs> so pretty. I like the idea of this as a top. Um, I've been looking for a vest. I may get this for myself. It's got a lot of snags on it, otherwise I would sell it. Um, but I may get this for myself. I think it's really cute. Only problem is this, but I can just wear it like a little tank top under it. Um, I do like the little, like the cut of it where it like splits out like that. I think that's pretty cute. So I may get this one. This sweater has like a bit of pilling on the front, but I can easily shave that off. Sorry, the mirror is so dirty. <laughs> um, but the, pa the pattern on it, the print is just so unique. And it has a little hound dog on the back. You can't see it, I'll have to show you guys on the hanger. Um, but it's just really cool and unique. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and get this one. This is the little pointer dog on the back. So cute. I've been looking for a blouse like this for months and I could not find one in Florida and I finally found one. So this is definitely coming home with me. This is going to stay in my closet. Um, I just love this collar. It's so pretty. Ugh, love it. This dress is just 90s goodness. Look at those shoulders. <laughs> I love it. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to get it. It's kind of plain and there's nothing like super special about it. Um, so I may or may not get this, just depending on what else I decide to get. I love the neckline, but I wish it was just a little bit lower. Um, and I love obviously the puff sleeves and the polka dots. Um, yeah, I just don't think it's very like flattering. I don't know. I'll think about it now that I like pull the waist up a little bit and kind of let that fall over this neckline is just so awkward. I don't know if I like it, so I'm probably gonna pass on this one. 
Now this, this is the most amazing color I have ever seen. It's low cut, so it makes it a little more modern. I love the cut of it. These sleeves are everything. This is just like the cutest dress I've ever seen. I'm gonna be so tempted to keep this. Will I ever wear it? Probably not, but it is just beautiful. You know, again, you just feel like little women or like house on the prairie or, you know, sound of music. It's so good. This is just a simple little um, polka dot dress. I cannot zip it because it's not my size, um, but I might get it for the shop. I don't know. I like the structure of it, but it may just be a little too plain and easy to find. There's nothing like super unique about it, so I may leave it behind. I have to be super picky about dresses because Georgia is filled with vintage dresses, so I may leave this one. This is why I always try things on because this is good in theory. I liked the style of it, but now that I have it on, I'm not loving it. So I'm gonna pass on this one. Now this I love because not only does it have this cutout detail on the front and the sleeves, it fits me like a glove, to be honest. The shoulder pads are a little added touch. It's really good shape. And then the creme de la creme, look at those buttons all the way down the spine. But what's better is it's not buttons, it's a zipper. Hallelujah. So good. I'm definitely getting this one. I wish I had a need for this rocking chair because it is beautiful and they only want $24.99 for it. So pretty. <laughs> Alrighty, so now I am at the Goodwill Outlet. This is the brand new outlet in Augusta, Georgia. Um, up until this point, there had only been one in Savannah, so I'm excited to check this one out. So nice and quiet in here. Look how clean it is. So not good. So new. So nice. Ugh, I could get used to this. I've already found some really awesome vintage goodies. And here they have these little bins that you just roll around instead of a cart, which is actually kind of nice. I kind of like that. So we're gonna keep digging and see what we can find. Ooh, this is promising. What's cool about the Goodwill outlet in Augusta is there's a Goodwill, a regular Goodwill right next door. So we're gonna see how their prices are in here. I'm just gonna come in here real quick. Not gonna do a whole lot of shopping. Cause I am hungry. Y'all, they have a cafe. What kind of fancy Goodwill is this? All right, so let's start with the stuff that I got from that first Goodwill. First up is that beautiful blouse. I actually have it on today and I already got red lipstick on it, so go me. So first item to sell is this little teal sweatshirt that you guys saw in the dressing room. You can kind of see the print a little bit better here. It's just got this really cool duck print on it. Um, and then it has the little pointer hunter dog on the back. I just thought it was a really unique sweater and I love the color of it. I want to say it's probably from the 80s. Um, it's a size large. It's a more like fitted large as opposed to an oversized large. Because it's such a unique piece, probably going to list it for about $40 to $45 and take best offer on it. Um, some keywords I'm going to use. Oh, I don't even know. Um, dog, definitely gonna use dog. People love dogs. Um, duck print, wildlife, 80s print sweater. Then I picked up that sweet little black dress with the beautiful cutout detail and those buttons. I mean, these buttons on the back are everything. And the one thing I do love the most about this dress is that these buttons are fake. Um, it has a zipper all the way down. So that's nice because I don't know how you would ever get buttoned into this <laughs> if it wasn't a zipper. So I think that's a good little touch to this dress. Um, this is a size six. If I don't decide to keep it, I may keep it. Uh, just because it fits me so perfectly. But if I don't decide to keep it, um, I'll probably list it for about $45 to $50 um, and take best offer. Some keywords I would use for this are classic, sophisticated, chic, staple piece, little black dress, um, date night dress, things of that nature. Next up is that beautiful prairie dress with that stunning collar. I mean, oh my goodness, I just, I can't get enough of this dress. It is so beautiful. There's a stain on this one. It's at the bottom down here. 
I didn't notice it until after I checked out. I would have bought the dress anyways, though, because it's just so amazing. Um, not sure what I'm going to list this at, though. It depends on if I can get that stain out or not. If I can get it out, I'll probably list it for about 50 to 55. If I can't get the stain out, I'll list it for about 40 to 45. Some keywords I'm going to use for this are puff sleeve, prairie, uh, romantic, little women maybe, floral print, lace, all of those, all of those things. Alrighty, and the last clothing piece from that first Goodwill is that little scalloped um, embroidered vest. Um, again, not sure if I'm going to list this or not. It's not as snagged up as I thought it was, as I originally thought it was. It just has some like little loose threads on it. Um, so I may list this um, just because of the condition, I will list it a little lower, probably about $25 on this. Some keywords I would use, again, a romantic, prairie, scalloped, uh, embroidered, crochet, things like that. Oh, and this is a size, I'm, I always forget to tell you guys the sizes. This is a size large, and the prairie dress that I just showed you guys is a size... Oh, size 11, 12. Is this a kid's dress? Anyways, I would say it fits like a women's medium or large. Alrighty, so I did pick up three home decor items from that first Goodwill. The first piece is this embroidered cruel work um, little oval um, footed frame. I love this little detail right here. If you decided you wanted to hang it on the wall, you could. And I also love the little feet. Um, the glass just needs to be taken out and cleaned, but I love the cruel work on the inside. Probably going to list this for about $25 to $30 just because of the nature of the cruel work. This takes, you know, it's very old and takes a lot of time to do. Um, so I like to take that into consideration, the craftsmanship of these types of pieces. Um, some keywords I'm going to use are embroidery, cruel work, farmhouse, European farmhouse, French farmhouse, things like that. Alrighty, so these last two art pieces kind of look similar, uh, but I don't think they went together. I think they just came from the same place. Um, this one has glass and this one does not. So this one kind of looks like it was done on watercolor paper. It's just a print, uh, but they printed it on watercolor, like a thick watercolor cardstock so that it looked more authentic. It just kind of has like this beautiful French house and I love it. I just think it's beautiful. Uh, probably going to list this one, the smaller one for about $25 to $30. And then this larger one, this has like a little stone cottage in it, kind of similar to the other one. Uh, but because this is bigger and has the glass in it, it's a little bit more, you know, more quality. Probably going to list this one for about $40. Some key words I'll use for both of these are French, countryside, um, farm, house, Victorian, um, primitive, things like that. And because they are watercolor prints, I will use the keyword watercolor. Alrighty, so let's get into the stuff that I found at the bins. Um, the bins were actually pretty good. I only spent about 30 minutes in there. I will definitely go back sometime next week early in the morning and just spend a good quality amount of time there to see what else I can find. Uh, but for the 30 minutes that I was there, it was pretty good. So um, I found this, which is, I don't know if this was supposed to be like a shawl um, or or what it's supposed to be. I think it was a shawl and it got shrunken um, because it is 100% wool. I think somebody put it in the washer and dryer and shrunk it, but I believe it originally was a shawl. I still picked it up because it is a vintage Pendleton piece. Um, so I went ahead and picked it up because I know Pendleton usually sells pretty well, um, even if it's not in the best condition. So I'm going to do, you know, a little research and see what I can find on like shrunken pieces. Uh, but it's still, I mean, it's a pretty good size. This could be used as a rug or you could drape it over the back of a couch. I'm thinking to use it more as like home decor. I'll probably list it as such and just note that, you know, it originally was a shawl, but that it probably cannot be worn as one. Could you wear this as a scarf? Let me see if I could wear it as a scarf. 
I feel like it's too bulky. Yeah, it's way too bulky as a scarf. So I'm definitely gonna list this as a home decor item. If anybody has any suggestions for unshrinking wool, uh, maybe I will try that. That being said, I'm not sure what I'm gonna list this at yet. Again, I'm just gonna have to do some more research. And if anybody has any suggestions for me, let me know down in the comments below. Um, some keywords that I will use for this are Southwestern, Boho, Bohemian, Aztec print, things like that. Since they don't have a dressing room at the bins, I will do a little try on uh, portion for the clothes that I got from the bins. First up is this beautiful vintage crocheted sweater. It's got this beautiful scallop detail on the wrist and on the hem, and it doesn't have any stains, which is incredible, especially the fact that I found it at the bins and it doesn't have any stains. That is just like, I, I can't believe it. I'm not sure really what size it is. I would say it fits like a modern day medium or large. Probably gonna list this cardigan for about 35 to $40. Some keywords I'm gonna use for this are romantic, um, classic, scalloped, crocheted, prairie, um, Victorian, things like that. Next up is this awesome little wool uh, cropped blazer jacket from the 80s. And what makes this even more awesome is it is dead stock, which means it still has the tag on it. Um, and it's, it's just so cute. I couldn't pass it up. It's adorable. I love the crop style and also the gold button detail on it. It looks just very like chic and sophisticated, but also kind of cool because of the crop. Probably going to list this for about 40 to $45 and take best offer. Some keywords I will use for this are cropped blazer, chic, the 80s. I will definitely use the word dead stock. People seek out new with tag vintage items using that keyword, so I will definitely be sure to include dead stock in my description. Next up is this little um, red and black gingham print top. I just really love the rounded collar. I think it's just really beautiful and dainty and makes it really girly. It does have little shoulder pads in it. Um, this would just be so cute tucked into jeans. Um, probably gonna list this for about 30 to $35. Some keywords I'm gonna use are gingham print. Um, I'm gonna figure out what this collar is called, put it on the screen, and that's a keyword that I will use. I'll use checkered print, 80s. Next up is just a set of little dainty, super old doilies. I think these are beautiful and I am a sucker for doilies. Even if they don't sell, I'll hang on to them because I just love them so much. I love putting them on like the tops of like dressers and just like little side tables. I think it just adds this beautiful like romantic girly element. These are just so delicate and stunning. Um, they're so lightweight and just like thin. I love them so, so much. They're beautiful. They just have so much character to them. Of course, they do have a couple little, you know, rust stains here and there, but nothing, you know, extreme. They're just tiny little spots here and there. Overall, they're great condition. Here's what I'm talking about when I'm, when I say rust stain. Um, probably going to list these. Oh, I don't even know. Probably just for like 10 to $15. Um, some keywords I will use are primitive, romantic, farmhouse, um, dainty, lace, of course, doily. So I have two more pieces from the Goodwill outlet and they are incredible pieces. Again, with no flaw. I can't believe the next item I'm about to show you especially doesn't have any stains. Like I just, I can't believe it. It's so delicate, so dainty, so beautiful. It is this gorgeous, floor length nightgown of course it's see-through maybe late 70s early 80s this is the tag um it says janelle of california that usually indicates that it's late 70s early 80s anything that says of california um it's 100% nylon, so I'm going to go with 70s. If somebody knows better, let me know down in the comments below. But it is just this stunning dress. Look at the sleeves, and the bottom is even better. My goodness. Look at that, people. Look at that. And it's not stained. None of it. None of it. Every inch has been gone over with my fine tooth comb, and I can't find 
one thing wrong with it. So I think this would be beautiful, even paired like over jeans, kind of like this, if you like layered it over a blouse and jeans and just had this over the top of it, I think that could be a good look. I know uh, Beth from B. Jones Style does that a lot. Um, definitely, you could put like a slip dress underneath and belt it. I think that would be gorgeous. This is just such a stunning piece. Probably gonna list this for about 65 to $70 um, just because it is such a gorgeous piece and it's, you know, in perfect condition. The condition is a huge factor in my price um, and the popularity of vintage nightgowns is through the roof right now. So that's why I'm pricing it so high. We're just gonna see where it goes. Um, it's just a beautiful piece, good Lord. Um, some keywords I'm going to use for this are, I feel like I'm using the same keywords for everything, but I'm picking up the same styles. Romantic, lace, um, vintage nightgown, uh, 70s, 80s. Uh, oh goodness, what even could I say? Prairie even, possibly. Uh, it's just, oh god, it's beautiful. I can't. I can't stop looking at it. I'm getting so excited. Okay, I gotta chill. <laughs> I'm getting on a rampage. I need to calm down. Alrighty, so the last piece I have to show you is a piece for me. I spoiled myself because I do need a coat now that I live in Georgia. I have a reason for a coat. Um, as if, you know, I really needed to twist my arm. You guys know I love outerwear. Um, but it is just this beautiful, stunning coat. I want to say that's like a houndstooth print. Um, but look at the shoulders. Oh my, look at those puff shoulders. Yes, that little like gather on the shoulders is just the sweetest, most feminine thing I have ever seen. And I love it so much. It's like this coat was meant for me. It is a perfect fit. I could not ask for a more perfect coat. The fact that I got it at the bench just makes it so much better because that means I only paid a couple dollars for it and I could not be more happy. Alrighty, I have two more items to show you guys. They're both home decor items and they're both staying with me. Um, this one is from the bins. I actually saw it in somebody's cart. This girl had it in her little bin that she was rolling around and I was like, that print is beautiful and I need it. I knew it was a rug and I was looking for a rug for my room. I kept an eye on her and I was like, maybe, maybe she'll put it back. And when I was digging through the linen bins, I saw it, she put it back and I, oh my my gosh, I like almost screamed. I was so excited. It's just this beautiful, you know, French blue print rug. And again, I got this from the bins, which means I paid like a couple dollars for it. And I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to take like pictures of shoes on this and just, oh, I'd stare at it every day in my room. So I'm really excited about this find. And last but not least, this is the only item that I got at the last Goodwill that I went to. I just popped in there because it's right next door to the Goodwill outlets. And I just wanted to see what it looked like. It was actually a very big, very fancy Goodwill. And they had a coffee shop and bookstore. So in the 10 minutes that I was in there, I found the most amazing lampshade. Look how beautiful, how sophisticated, how Victorian, how gorgeous. Look how it sways. I mean, I was doing this the whole time I was walking through the store. I just love this lampshade. I want to get maybe like a taller lamp to go beside my bed, maybe like a small table lamp. I don't know. I'm looking for the perfect lamp to go with this, but I had to get this shade. It was only $4. Um, and I could not pass this up. So I cannot wait to style this. When I do get it styled, I will take a picture and show you guys over on Instagram. Alrighty, so that's everything that I got in my little adventure around Augusta. There will be plenty more to come. I am so excited for this new journey to find new thrift stores, to find all the vintage goodies that Georgia has to offer. I'm also excited to dip my toes into yard sales and flea markets because those are huge here um, and they really weren't in Florida. I'm really excited to find some 
little flea markets on the weekends and some yard sales, maybe even some estate sales. And so yeah, I hope you guys are excited for this new journey. Again, thank you so much for all your love and support. You guys mean the world to me and I don't know what I would do without you. You guys have just been loving on me the past few days and I couldn't be more thankful. So before I cry, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I hope you guys have a great rest of your day or night wherever you are. If you like this video, please be sure and give it a thumbs up on your way out. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join our family. We would love to have you. I put new videos out every Wednesday and Friday and I will see you guys on Friday. Bye guys.